This is the other case we're announcing today, uh, the Graphite Series 760T. It's a full tower based around the same chassis that our kind of award-winning 750D is based on with a couple of significant changes from the design standpoint. So clearly the design is much more aggressive and different than the 750D's standard obsidian style design. Um, it's available in two colors, white and black. Uh, the white one comes with white LEDs in front, white power LED. The black one comes with red and red. Uh, they both have 140 millimeter fans dual in front with LEDs and a 140 millimeter rear exhaust. The big issue with this case, the big beautiful thing about it is this giant side panel window where the window is actually the side panel. It's hinged in the rear with a latch in the front, easily opens like this. You can get in and access your system, close it right back up. Should you want to remove the door, all you have to do is take it like this and pull it off. Simple pin hinge comes right off. Inside this system, we actually have four uh, 280Xs and an AX1500i power supply. In fact, it's such a new power supply, we don't even have stickers for it yet, so that's pretty exciting. This system is, right now, because the 1500i is capable of running up to about 600 watts in fanless mode, is running three-way crossfire, even though there's four cards in there. It's running three-way crossfire and Furmark 100% load, 578 watts output, fans not even turning on. So that's actually kind of a nice feature. Should you run up to 900 to 1,000 watts, the fan will spin up to about 500 RPM, depending on what temperature it is where you are, but typically around 500 RPM. Still pretty inaudible. Internally, it's almost the same as the 750. You have a 360 radiator mount on top. You have three optical drive bays. You have two of these uh, hard drive bay here that you can move and relocate wherever you'd like. The sideways mounted SSDs that you can put here uh, to keep out of the airflow path. In the front, you can put a 240 or 280 millimeter radiator as well. On bottom, there's a single 120 mount. So if you wanted to put a bottom intake, you can do that. And like I mentioned before, in rear, it's a 140 or 120. The 760T also has a built-in fan toggle mode, which toggles the fan speed from 7 volts to 12 volts. So you can just turn the fans down if you want to. Uh, features two USB 3 ports and two USB 2 ports on front. Headphone mic, that typical stuff. There's also a lower cost variant called the 730T that doesn't have the side panel window that'll be available for $139. The 760T is available for $179 for the black version, $189 for the uh, white version. And should be available on the channel in late February.